Hi guys, in this video I want to talk a little bit about uh, custom audiences and using custom audiences with your newsfeed ads can, can really, really make a difference. Now a custom audience is basically uh, an audience that you create yourself and you can do that in numerous ways. If you've got an email list, you can import your email list into Facebook. Then you can advertise directly to your own list, which is great. If you've got people who aren't opening your emails, you can get back in contact with them if they're on Facebook. You can also go to different groups that you're, member, that you're a member of or that are open and you can extract the audience from there and use that as a custom audience. Or you can go to fan pages and extract people who have liked it and who are commenting. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just sort of show you quickly uh, the power editor and custom audiences and then I'll fire up a tool and we'll go and uh, make our own little custom audience. So here we are in the power editor, and just adjust that, and you can see on the left hand side we're under audiences, create an audience, and create a custom audience. And it's as simple as that, you give the, um, the name, a description, and you import a file, and I'll show you that in a moment. If you've already got a custom audience, and maybe it's not as big as it should be, uh, you'd like it bigger, so for example, uh, here's one from my family buyers, uh, one of my family buyers list, and there's 600 people on it. If you click on it, you've got the chance of creating a similar audience. So you can click on that. So I'm going to choose United States and optimize for similarity or greater reach. So I'm going to optimize for similarity at the moment, and I'm going to click create. So what Facebook is now doing is analyzing my list, which is 500 buyers, and it's finding people who are very similar and have similar likes and like similar pages to people who are on that list. And it's going to create a list. Now, some of these ones up here, you can see 237, sorry, 2,370,000. Um, that's a list that is created for me, that Facebook has created of similar likes. So it's pretty useful. And you can always test these, these custom audiences. Uh, if, they, if they work out, stick with them. If not, then go for a more refined custom audience. And now I'm going to show you how to really get a refined custom audience. This is a tool called Social Lead Freak, uh, or SLF for short. And you can type in uh, anything you want here. So if I want to type in, uh, let's say, list building. Actually, let's do Empower. So if I wanted to find uh, groups about Empower Network to advertise, then we've got all these lists here. And you can see here who people are talking about it, etc. So I'm going to go for... Um, I don't want to find something that's too big. I want something that's... Um, Go for likes first. I want something that's going to work quite quickly for this demonstration. Um, Empower Network. Okay, so here we can go. We can click on here. We can go to the page. We can check the page out first off. 5,000 likes. Okay, there's posts on there. Two people liked it there. Okay, that's not too bad. There's a few. Po there's a few people who like that, so let's go on here. So we've got those those uh, 5,000 likes, which is great, but a lot of people like something and they're never ever engaged. So what this does is, if you right click on the list now, you can extract comments only. So if people have made a comment, these guys are really, really engaged uh, in that. So you can extract their IDs. Or you can extract comments and likes. So I'm gonna extract comments and likes because if somebody likes something um, recently, then there's 50 posts there, that's fine. That won't, won't, take, won't, won't take, take too long. Um, if someone likes something and it takes the effort to click the button, then they're, they, you know that they're engaged. So we're gonna actually, we can advertise directly to them. So this is up to page 20 now. All I'm gonna do is just pause for a few moments and we'll then have a look at this. 
Okay, guys, so here I am back, and you can see within a couple of minutes, this is great. 589 uh, IDs of people who have commented or liked comments on there. The reason it hasn't scraped all the members is that's against Facebook's TOS. Now, there are sev some tools that will do it. Um, I've used several in the past. Most of them get shut down. Uh, one of them hasn't been shut down, but it's been taken off the, mar off the market. So it's difficult to find anything that will scrape it. If you do, well done. Uh, up to you whether you use it or not. But for me, tools like SLF, which stick within Facebook's rules, are the way to go. You've almost got almost 600 people here who you can advertise to. If you went through maybe 10 groups, you can get a, a group of maybe six, 7,000. Um, you can also, as we pointed out earlier, use the the power editors lookalike um, feature. So you can find people who like uh, Empower, different Empower pages, etc., who are interested in similar things. So you can grow your list like that. Now let's go back to the power editor. Uh, I just need to close this down and go to the power editor here. It usually takes about an hour for these to work. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to my audiences and I'm going to go and choose custom audience and give it a name, empower. I can give it a description if I want, I'm not going to bother. I'm going to choose the file, I'm going to open that. And it's UID, so I select UIDs, I create that. And now it's uploading all, what, what happens is it uploads all the UIDs, uh, make sure this is in the da database, and then it will make it available to me. Now if you're doing local marketing, uh, this can be particularly good. Um, here I've got about 7,000 people who live locally to me. Uh, I just went through local uh, sites local stores, local nightclubs, local beach clubs. I live in Marbella in Spain, so there's quite a few of those. Top local restaurants. I just extracted everybody who liked those. So now I've got a nice little local list. So when anybody says to me, uh, how can they get people to go to their Facebook page, I can say, well, I've got a local list here. Uh, I can let you use it. It will cost you XXX. Uh, it usually pays for my beer for a weekend. That is custom audiences. It does take about an hour to um, become available to you, but once it is, then you can just use it in adverts. And when you create an advert, uh, you've got the option of using a custom audience or using people's interests. I hope you found that useful. Any questions, once again, uh, just ask them, be ask them below in the comment section and we'll get you an answer ASAP. I'll, I'll also try and uh, get a discount link for SLF, which when we get it, it will be down below. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.